I've been playing since I was 15. I started recording when I was 17, 16, 17, and since then I'm still recording. So I consider myself that I have about 85 CDs. I stay with the traditional music um, because of my dad. Everybody have different style of playing, but in my category, in my, uh, it was just my dad. No, I just wanted to play like my dad. I, I, I thought, and I remember telling him one time, I said, you know what, if you ever pass away or something, I'm gonna keep your music. I'm gonna keep your traditional music. My name is Juan Tejeda, and I'm a retired professor of Mexican-American studies and music. Well, Santiago Jr. comes from, of course, the famous Jimenez musical family of here from San Antonio. His grandfather, Patricio Jimenez, played the accordion back in the early 1900s. His father, Santiago Jimenez Sr., one of the pioneers of uh, and founders of this particular tradition and ensemble of, of conjunto music uh, and recording, uh, started in the 1920s and recorded in the 1930s and played for many, many years. And of course, he's the father of, of the famous Flaco Jimenez and Santiago Jimenez Jr., both Conjunto Music Hall of Famers, as well as their father, Santiago. You know, they come from the same root, you know, the Jimenez family tradition and style of playing. Um, Flaco has taken off in a little bit different direction and, you know, mixed it up somewhat with country and rock and played with different people and recorded with different people. Uh, and Santiago has remained, I think, more true to his father's style, traditional conjunto music of polkas and waltzes and guapangos and redovas and chotices um, that his father has played. Probably Santiago has been playing for probably over 60 years, I think, now. So I think one of the most important and celebrated of the traditional conjunto artists that, that exist today and throughout our history. I'm the only one. It's my understanding there's nobody that plays my style. Or maybe they don't want to play my style. I mean, they want to go to something other roots, uh, other, uh, other way of playing, you know. But they don't have the traditional way of doing it. Sure. I mean, I think I'm the only one that plays the traditional old school music that I, I've been representing this for all my life. Well, you know, conjunto music, that we call it here, conjunto tejano music, because conjunto is like the original tejano music, meaning Texas Mexican music, right? So it's very important to the people, and it has become like basically the people's music, the Mexican Texans uh, music, uh, music of the people, the, the voice of the Chicano, the Mexicano people in Texas, and now it's, it's gone all over the world the United States and, and all over the world. Um, so it, it's very important, you know, it's basically who we are as a people and expresses all of those sentiments uh, and that mixture of who we are as a people. I have my own label, uh, I created it in 1990, uh, Chief Record. Uh, not a very big, big fiddle, everybody loves Chief Record because they know me by Chief. And, uh, but I did a lot of 45. Matter of fact, I just released a new album on Chief Record. And I never had an album on Chief Record, just 45. And I said, I told my wife, my goal, I want an album. I want to make a Chief album. And that's the one that I did, Corridos de Verdad. Music is my life, man. I was born for that. I mean, music is my life. And no matter what I do, as long as this music is there, no, no, I can, I can, uh, I can relate with anything, uh, you know, recording or presentation or teaching. I can do anything so far. So far, I can do it. I still can do it. I'm still kicking. I'm Santiago Jimenez Jr. and I'm very thrilled and happy for this uh, award. Thank you.